Hi everybody, Erica here from Pink Bucker Designs. Happy Friday, TGIF. We have survived the first week of summer here at my house. Hooray, my kids. Whew, my kids are home. And uh, it's been a little crazy, but they're getting to that age where uh, they can they can easily entertain themselves. I am just sharing this um, as we wait for everybody to get here. And um, then I will get started. I can't talk and do this at the same time. Let's see, there we go. All right. So yeah, I've been playing taxi all week. That's, that's the part of summer that gets frustrating. I know you mamas out there probably understand. Um, and you know, I'm trying to work here all day. I do this full time. So I, I'm working in 20 minute increments. It seems like, <laughs> hi guys. I can see you. Kathy, Stephanie, Crystal, Marion, and Courtney. Hi guys. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you joining me today. I hope the weather is nice where you are. We're super hot here waiting for some rain. Hopefully my husband went to a fishing tournament at the coast. And we have our fingers crossed that it will get done. All right, so let's see. Today, I told you guys that we are working with Healing Hugs, this set. And I actually had um, a couple of requests for this already. Um, so I pulled it out. I really, you know what's funny, you guys? When I get a bunch of new stuff is when I feel like I have the hardest time creating because it's almost overwhelming, you know, too much new stuff. I don't know where to, to start. I don't know what to, um, you know, boil it down to. And so when you guys suggest things, it does help me because then I kind of feel like, okay, push everything out of the way and focus on this one. So I pulled this out and honestly, it was not one of my favorites right away. And I've heard a lot of you saying it is one of your favorites. Well, I've changed my mind now, for sure. I just needed to play with it. It's gorgeous. Um, this is that new distinctive um, type of stamp that is new to Stamping Up. And um, it's just a brand new kind. It's when you, I'll show you in a little while, it's flat, but it has all these tiny fine lines in it that create a deep, you know, three-dimensional look with just one stamp. So anyway, it's a really good one. Well, the UPS man is here right on time, of course. He knew I was going live, so he's going to come and the dog's going to bark. Maybe the girls have him upstairs. So anyways, thanks for sharing, Debbie. Yep, yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind sharing the video, I always appreciate it. All right. It's like, you know, it has to happen most of the time. <laughs> Those dogs. Sorry if they made your dogs bark. I know that happens sometimes. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Um, so anyways, that's what we're going to do today. And um, if this is the first time, oh, I was, I was, I was telling um, Debbie, thank you for sharing. So I always appreciate when you guys share and I give prizes for people who share. I draw names and I have prizes for that this week. So... If you guys want to enter for the prize I have this week, I would love for you to share my video. That would be great. Um, also, hopefully the link works this week. If you'll click on the link and the little descriptor of when I went live up there, it'll take you over to my blog where I have these pages. Um, they have all three projects we're going to make today. Measurements, product information, including the numbers, and some other things here I'm going to tell you about in a second. But before we do that, let me show you. I got a few things in the mail this week, and I have been so crazy busy that I haven't even stopped to really say thank you. Um, and this actually, I think, came last week from uh, Sandy Perry, and she sent me a gift card. You guys, a gift card to Bath & Body Works. So, Sandy, I don't know if you're on here. I haven't even taken a second to tell you thank you. It was the sweetest thing. Bath and Body Works, I mean, she knows me, right? You guys know I love to go to Bath and Body Works and get the little cute things that I, um, you know, turn into these projects. So anyway, she used some of our beautiful, this was celebration paper a few years ago, and it's some of my favorite paper, and our gift card um, holder die framelit that has re since retired, sadly. So anyways, 
Um, thank you, Sandy. I, I appreciate it and the sweet little note. That was very thoughtful of you. Um, and then Laurie, I don't know if Laurie's on here. Laurie is on my team and Laurie is so thoughtful. She sends me gifts from time to time and I got a box in the mail. I had no idea. I wasn't expecting anything and I opened it. You know what? I have it right here and I'll show you guys. It is the cutest, look, gingham bag. How cute. It's a great size. She said she got one for a gift. And she knew immediately she had to get me one. So, Laurie, I can't tell you how much that means to me. And then, look, she sent me a card with gingham on it, too. Yes, you guys. I obviously, I talk a lot about what I like. Thanks, guys. I do appreciate it. That's so sweet. So, thank you, Laurie. And then, one more. And this is cute. And I, this is, this is so funny. Um, Carla, who, um, we have chatted many times online and we've met once. She's a demonstrator also. She, when I posted this card on my blog, maybe last week, week before, she sent me a message and said, you should send yourself that card um, <laughs> because it says you are amazing. And that was so sweet. But she went even further than that and she remade the card and sent it to me. So Carla, I don't know if you're on here. It was so sweet. Um, the little note that you wrote and look at this. She found this at Starbucks and I need to go find this. Unfortunately, it crushed a little bit, but it's one of these, the flavored iced tea straw. Have you guys seen this? So you, you stir your tea and it flavors it and it's a straw. Hello. This is really cute. I don't go to Starbucks very much. Um, I'm not a coffee drinker, but my kids like to go. So we'll go a lot in the summer. Um, but she used our little, the little fruit stuff that just retired. Oh, there's Laurie. Oh, thank you, Laurie. You're so sweet. Um, but anyway, um, so Carla sent me this and I just thought it was super cute. And again, something totally unexpected. And she sent me a sweet little note, um, in the card that she thought I needed to send myself. Very smart, very smart, Carla, and thoughtful. You guys, your thoughtfulness just amazes me. Very thoughtful. Okay, so here's my reminder for this week. My one and only class to go in June is the Sea of Textures class. Here it is. It's a must have, in my opinion. Um, yes, it's summery, but I think you'll use it all throughout the year. It great, makes great masculine cards. Um, and this framelit right here alone just is awesome. It's I'm going to use that quite a bit, just that little netting framelit. So anyway, this class to go has eight projects. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, suddenly I couldn't remember. Anyway, you'll get six of the make and takes in the kit, and then the two extras are bonus in the PDF. Um, so all together, there are eight projects in the PDF. Let me get them all turned around. Um, the little sand dollar framelit, oh, I think that's pretty amazing too. Um, the octopus, I know some of you say you don't like octopus. Well, I don't like them in person, but <laughs> I think they're cute on a card. Um, see, there's that net. Lots of texture, lots of layers. And then, of course, a shaker card. So that, and then there's two boxes here. One for a little travel suntan lotion. And a little Bath and Body Works sea salt. Perfect lotion a little box for that so then so in the class you'll get i have four options you get six make and takes the stamp and the framelits oh and then this project i forgot that's the other one the little picture in a jar i can't turn it or the sand goes everywhere um you also get the tranquil texture sprinkles see those and a bolt of our new medium Baker's Dwight, Night of Navy. So option one is $65, includes all of that. When you pay that price, you're getting these for free. The second option is $35. That's for those of you that already have the framelit and the stamps, um, but you'll get the six make and takes and then the embellishments and the twine. And the third option is PDF only. You just want the PDF, it's $15, and that's available in my PDF store. It's an immediate download, it's immediately emailed to you. And then the fourth option is for my downline. Um, my team, that's one of the perks of being on my team is that you get access to my classes um, for very, very cheap. Uh, they get all the make and takes for just $14 um, shipped. So um, 
if you've thought about buying the starter kit, that may be one of the perks that pushes you over to actually do it um, and buy that starter kit. Because not only are you going to get a discount with Stamping Up, but you're going to get a discount on my classes. They get all my PDFs for free every month, um, plus some extra uh, PDFs that we uh, PDF that we do at our team, some team make and takes. So the deadline for this is June twenty second. If you're interested in any of those options, you can look on this um, document I have here, and there's the, the, you just type that in, that'll take you over there to where you can register and purchase. Um, also at the bottom of all of my blog posts, there's been a link there too for the information. There's a little video on it and stuff, so you can check it out. Um, Thank you, Crystal. I'm glad you think that octopus card is cute. I know, some people are like, oh, creepy. Well, I would think an octopus is creepy too if I saw it in person. Have you guys seen the video of the octopus that's like climbing across the lab to get out, like in uh, Finding Nemo 2, whatever that movie was called? Anyway, I don't know, they are pretty creepy, but I like them on a card. I like them as a stamp. <laughs> okay, so how about prizes? Last week I said I would give away two chamois to two people who shared. And so I randomly chose two people who shared, and Reb, who is in my downline, you're getting a chamois. Thank you for sharing. And Susan Little, you're getting a chamois. Susan, I have your mailing address. So I will send these to you guys um, in the next few days, Monday at the latest. Okay, these are our new chamois. Have you guys, how many of you have a chamois? This is what mine looks like. Yes, it looks like it's been used and abused because it has, but it still works beautifully. Um, cleans your stamps really well. You'll see me use it today. So Susan and Reb, those are your prizes for sharing. Thanks for sharing my video, you guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Then I always have a prize over on my blog and you have to scroll down to see it. It's at the very bottom. You enter your email address and sometimes I ask you a question. This week I'm asking you for suggestions for the summer for Facebook Live, what you'd like to see. Last week's winner is Wendy Kennedy. Wendy, congratulations, you're getting this bundle, Follow Your Dream and Chase Your Dream Framelits. So remember, two ways to enter, share the video and then go over to my blog and enter your stuff on the widget at the bottom of the post. Um, Wendy, I will email you, but if you see this before I email you, email me your mailing address and I'll get that out to you. Congratulations, that's a good prize. All right, this week I am giving away the Big Shot Subtle dynamic textured embossing folder. This is for sharing the video, okay? Somebody's gonna win this folder. It um, is, it, if you guys remember textured cardstock, that's what it'll do. It'll make your cardstock look textured. I just finished um, my swaps today for my team meeting and used this and it is awesome. Just a little subtle texture to your project. So that's for sharing. And then if you go over to my blog and enter today, this is what I'm giving, the hand-delivered Hostess stamp set. The way the only way you can get this is to spend over $150 or win it in my giveaway. This is such a cute win. So go over and enter for that. Okay. All right. So let's see. The only other thing I need to tell you is to remind you about the hostess code. Every week I offer the make and takes for free with a minimum $30 order by Monday night using this hostess code. And this is what they look like. They come all packed and ready for you. Um, you just need to stamp and put them together. Um, and they come in the mail. I get these, I cut Tuesday morning and ship them out either Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning. So if you would like this week's make and takes, make sure you get your order in. I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of things today that you need. I really, my list has just been growing of things that I love from this new catalog. So I encourage you to get your order in this weekend and use that hostess code so I can send you the make and takes for free. Now that hostess code will be here the whole time. It's also here on the PDF. So later on this weekend, if you sit down to put your order in, just go pull up this PDF and it's there for you. Let's see, the other, the last thing I need to tell you is that if your order is $50, I am in part of a all-star tutorial bundle team. We each submit a tutorial each month to come up with 13 tutorials. Here's this month, here's June's. And um, they're step-by-step, -step. they're both uh, inches, imperial and metric is what I'm trying to say. And um, they're using all new stuff. So you get it for free if you spend $50 with me. 
um, which is pretty easy to do. Now, if you're a demonstrator and you don't wanna put an order in under me, this is also available in my PDF store for $15. And you can find that on my blog, there's a button at the top. Hey, Mike, you made it, all right. Mike is here. I'm glad to see you, Mike. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. I told you all the things I wanted to tell you. Let's see, where am I gonna start? Okay, we're gonna start with a catalog case. Now, case means to copy and share everything. And when I, sometimes when I feel stuck with a stamp set, I go and pull out the catalog and I just copy. I just make something in the catalog that kind of gets my creative juices flowing. So this is the card we're gonna case. You may not have noticed it. It's not on this, the page with the actual stamp set. It's on page 105. And I love those colors. That's that Coastal Cabana Lemon Lime Twist. And it has stitching over here. So I'm gonna show you how you can achieve a faux stitch look without needle and thread. And I'm also gonna show you how to mask, how they've masked off this card. All right, so let's get started. Let me kind of clean off my space here. We're gonna use Coastal Cabana and Lemon Lime Twist. Let me get all my stamps. And you're gonna need a post-it note too for this. And I'm also gonna need some grid paper. Let me pull that out. Copy and stitch. <laughs> Donna, that's funny. Before, she says before you had to be politically correct, it was copy and steal everything. Well, you know what? Maybe I just don't know the right terms for it. Copy and share everything is what I thought it was. But copy and steal everything, <laughs> that's funny. You had to be politically correct. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our Coastal Cabana ink. Now remember at the beginning, if you weren't here, I, I explained that these are the new distinctive stamps designed by Stampin' Up, they're, they're patent pending. It's very flat, you think, how in the world is that gonna stamp that flower? It has just these itty bitty tiny um, lines in it that will create basically a photorealistic image without having to do two or three step stamping. So I'm gonna ink it up with Coastal Cabana. We had a set like this during celebration and it was really fun. All right, so there we go. Now, one thing I wanna point out to you is that if you feel like your stamp is not stamping right, it's not the stamp, it's your ink pad. It's either too juicy, which mine is probably borderline too juicy right now, or it's not juicy enough. So you need to play around with it. If it's too juicy, one thing you can do is take a paper towel and really like dab it down and get some of that ink off. And if it's not juicy enough, obviously, you need to take your ink refill, which looks like this, put a few dots in it, and get a spoon, smooth it all out, and try it again. Um, it's, it really does take a stamp pad that is, you know, well inked and not overly inked or too dry. All right, so now we're gonna stamp here on the post-it note. And the post-it note that I have, I bought special post-it notes just at, you know, Walmart or whatever. They're fully sticky. Um, they're not just sticky here. I use them uh, specifically for this because it gives you a good, um, you know, seal. I feel like sometimes if I stamp on a post-it note that's sticky up here and I cut it off, then I've lost the sticky. <laughs> so I have bought these to um, make sure that it's always sticky on the back. Now get your paper snips and cut around it and go right up to the edge. It doesn't matter, we're gonna throw this away. This is just gonna be masking off most of our image to create a layered look. It's going to allow us to make that first stamp look like it's up in the front and everything's out, everything else is in the back. So cut around it. All right, and now let's bring that back over and I'm gonna line it up where it matches up like that. Now I'm gonna get my Coastal Cabana again, and I'm not gonna stamp in full strength. I want it lighter. See how it's lighter? So I'm gonna ink it and then stamp off over here and then stamp it so it creates a lighter look. Stamp off, I'm gonna turn it a little bit and stamp like that. Okay, now before we take that mask off, I'm gonna do the leaves. I'm gonna do the leaves in Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm gonna do some like that, and some here. And then I'm gonna take this off, 
See how beautiful that looks? And I'm gonna come down here and cover this one up and do some, let's see, do some there. Am I in the screen? Let me make sure you guys can see. And some there. All right, and there you have it. So you can see how they're behind the flower. It's cool, right? It's called masking. If you're having interruptions, I'm sorry, I see some of you saying you're having interruptions and that does happen just because of internet issues. But when I am done and it reloads up to the, um, you know, the clean recording at the end, it'll all be smooth. I know sometimes it's just the internet, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so there we have that. Now, I told you I was going to show you how to do faux stitching. These are the, the stitched label framelits that I'm in love with. I love all of them. But these right here are really neat. They're gonna create stitching lines. So this is gonna create a straight stitching line and this is gonna create a crossed, you know, an X, like a cross stitch. Let's see, will you share the masking pad again, please? Debbie, watch the replay in a little while when I'm done. I upload it in HD to Facebook and it'll all be there for you. You'll be able to see it perfectly, okay? All right, and guys, I also pre-recorded these for YouTube and I'm, I'm right now my computer is uploading the third one. So they'll be there this afternoon too. Okay, so Again, the cross stitch, we're gonna put it straight across here towards the top. Try to get it straight. Oh, these dies are great. I love these dies, yes. All right, and then look at that. Doesn't it look like it's stitched? Oh my gosh, it's so fun. All right, that one kind of snuck under the radar for me, honestly, I didn't, see it right away because I was looking at all the shapes. All right, now we're ready to do some stamping here on our card base. This is Coastal Cabana and it's five and a half by eight and a half folded in half. And I'm gonna take this image, let me show you which one I'm using. That one right there looks like a little stitching. And I'm just going to stitch, or stitch, stamp around the edge because once I put this white piece on it you're only really going to see around the edge so it won't matter too much it's just adding some interest and some texture along the edge all right and I'm stamping in coastal cabana so anyways I was saying just a second ago these will all be on YouTube as clean recordings so if you wanna come back and check it out again, you can actually just hop over to my YouTube channel and watch it, the one that you want. They're all less than 10 minutes long. All right, so I've got that on there and I'm just gonna stick this down flat, no dimensionals on this, up towards the top, a little bit off-centered, like that. All right, and can you guys see the stitching on there? The stitching, I like that kind of stitching. All right, now I've got a piece of Whisper White. And remember the measurements are on my PDF. Let me see. And I can tell you what this, these measure. The first white piece was three and a half by five. And the second one is three fourths by three and three fourths. I'm gonna put it in my, actually that's a rough edge on that side. So let's turn that over. I'm gonna put it in my banner triple punch. And you can, if it's smaller here than the, then the one inch, it, you kind of eyeball it right there between those little marks. Punch that. And then let's get the sentiment. I like this one. It says, sending you healing vibes. That's nice, isn't it? And I did it upside down. Boo, I knew I was gonna do that. I was just thinking, all right. So I don't put my stickers on my stamps, which most of you probably don't either. So make sure you're stamping with the top right. Sending you healing vibes. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. That's better. All right, now we're gonna use this Bermuda Bay. Now this isn't Coastal Cabana, it's Bermuda Bay. This many striped ribbon, but it goes perfectly if you ask me. So we're gonna use, I'm gonna use glue dots because you guys know how I feel about liquid glue. Not a fan. 
You could use tear and tape also. I'm just gonna put a couple of glue dots there. And I'm gonna stick it down right there. Trim that off. And then we need a pearlized doily. These were the doilies that we got in May, right? That came with the Share What You Love bundle. They're shiny on one side. And I just need a little bit of it. Just a section, a fourth of it. All right, so now let me put some adhesive here on the back and I can stick that right there. And it's just gonna go right on there. Now, I just wanna remind you guys, don't forget to look at your catalog for ideas. Of course, Pinterest is great, Google is great, but Stampin' Up! has some of the best artists out there. There you go. And they design cards per on purpose for you. They wanna make them simple enough that everybody can make them. So go to your catalog when you get a stamp set and start by casing the catalog. Those are usually pretty doable. And the thing I like about this card is that it is flat. It is easily mailed, right? Easily mailed, because sometimes I make cards that are just too hard to mail. All right, a little white twine bow, and there you have it. Very nice. All right, I hope you guys like that, and I hope that that reminds you to go to your catalog when you need ideas. Go to your catalog. All right, so I can see that it's blurry. Yes, I know, you guys, and there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. So just be patient. Hang with me. The solar flares, as I call them, will straighten up. It's the internet. Um, and when I upload it, this afternoon when I'm done, if you give it about 20 minutes, it'll be perfect. I don't know, we have storms coming in the area, so maybe that's part of the problem. All right, so anyway, there's card number one. Now, number two, project number two, is not a card. Oh, see, now it's cleared for me. But then it says broadcast interrupted. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep going, guys. I don't know. All right, so I wanna tell you, this is our new white, they're called lustrous white. It's a weird word, right? Lustrous white. Um, the new lustrous white gable boxes. They remind me of our shimmer paper. They're shimmery and white. We've had the silver ones. The silver ones were in the occasions catalog in the spring. So let me show you where they are here in the catalog. Page 193. You might miss them because you see the silver ones, but there's also white. So lustrous white and silver. So we're gonna take the lustrous white and we're gonna change the color. You guys notice that it's Coastal Cabana. So let me show you how to do that. You're definitely gonna need some paper. We're gonna use a spritzer. Have you guys used a spritzer before? We carry them, they're back there in the catalog. They're $1.50 each, they're super cheap. And I actually have a bunch. Because they're so cheap, I just keep them on hand and then when I decide on a color, and I've made it a co color, I write on the side, Calypso Coral, and that way I can just keep it. I don't have to clean it out. Um, that one doesn't have a color on it, but a lot of them do. Of course, all the ones I pulled out don't. don't. Anyway, I normally write Coastal Cabana, write the name on the side. So you can do water or alcohol, and I prefer alcohol. So, I'm reading y'all's comments. Can't really have internet issues in the summer when your kids are home. Oh, you know what? That's probably that's probably the case. There's a Fortnite tournament going on upstairs. Mm, maybe they need to take a nap. I'll tell them it's nap time. I don't think they'd like that. All right, so you get your spritzer. You fill it with just alcohol. Just rubbing alcohol, you know, that you got in your bathroom. And I fill it up about three-fourths. And then I take my re-inker and I put about 10 dots in there. That's just me, you can play around. You might only need five dots or you might want more dots than that, but however many little drops in there, shake it up and then you're ready to go. And you wanna put down your paper and we're just gonna start spritzing. Any color you want, any color. Just spritz it and I probably go overboard. I probably use too much, so. But that's just how I do everything, I think. 
<laughs> I'm always a little overboard with everything. A little spritz on both sides and then leave it to dry. I give it about 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes. So you could, if you wanted it darker, you could do it some more. You'll let it dry, add another coat. Um, but you can see it's already starting to curl, but that's okay because we're gonna straighten it out. And I have one already done earlier today. And look, it's not even that curled up anymore. So that's how you color them. I know somebody had sent me a message and asked me, you get a spritzer, get whatever color you want and just spritz it. And I suggest you just keep your spritzers, you know, at $1.50, you're gonna use them quite a bit, probably once you have them. So you can just keep them and use them whenever they're ready. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp these flowers on here. This is the same flower we used last time with Coastal Cabana ink. And I'm just gonna stamp it, turning it, doing different ways. Some to the side, some upside down. We just want a flower print on it. All right, do that. And then turn it over, do the other side. All right, one more maybe, one more. All right, now once you've got that done, let me show you how to put, put it together. You know, the possibilities are really endless with these. Think about the different colors. Now here I've used Sending You Healing Vibes, and my thought was to take, you know, if somebody's in the hospital or if somebody has had a surgery and they're home recovering, you could make them some homemade goodies and send them in this. Homemade goodies go a long way, right? Something homemade, but also you could do like tissues and some cough drops or, you know, something like that. And But the, if you don't have a need for that, you could change it to happy birthday or thanking of you or thank you or happy Mother's Day or whatever. So, you know, don't get locked down into it having to be a um, get well gift because it could be anything. Okay, so here's how you put these together. You always fold in this big one first. Okay, and then the sides, and then the, the last one is the little, it folds down into that little fold, that little slot. And that's it, easy. And for the top, you put your stuff in, make sure you get these little side things out if they haven't fallen out already. I'm gonna fold this towards the inside and the handle towards the outside. And again, same thing on this side, I'm gonna fold it in and fold this part out. And then I'm gonna pinch these together and just go like this on each side and close it. Ta-da! You know, before we had these, I've tried to make these on my own and I could never figure it out. That's a pretty complicated closure. So I love that they just come in a pack ready to go. All right, so there we have it. Now let's make our tag. Um, I am using, if you watched my uh, video when I unboxed all of my, my new stuff, this paper really shocked me because I didn't think I was gonna like it that much. But this is the Tea Room specialty paper. It's thin, remember? And uh, I've used it quite a bit. I'm gonna show you another card that I made with it too. Okay, I've lost that banner punch. We used it on the last project. Here it is. All right, so this is one and three fourths by four piece of that DSP. And then another strip of Whisper White, three fourths by about four. Let's do the stamping. This time I'm using a different color. So let's make sure we clean this. And yes, this will clean it perfectly. See, it's amazing. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna do Calypso Coral. Uh-oh, I've got an open ink pad and things are happening over here that shouldn't be sitting on the ink pad. <laughs> All right, Calypso Coral. Let's make sure we stamp it the right direction this time. Uh-oh, my paper moved. Let's do it again. My grid paper is kind of curled now from the spritzing. All right, and this one looks kind of like baby's breath to me. I'm sure it has some kind of official name, but I don't know what it is. I'm calling it Baby's Breath in that Calypso Coral. All right, so that is it. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna attach it here. 
And I decided to pull out something, you guys, from Walmart. We have had these, maybe not even these tiny ones. I don't know, I can't remember, but I love just a teeny tiny um, clothespin. You can get these at Walmart in the craft section. I know, shh, it's not in the catalog. All right, I just really like the way that looked there. So cute, I just clipped it on. Okay, now Bermuda Bay again. That mini striped ribbon, it's not Coastal Cabana, but it's close enough. It looks really close to me. When you've got that white stripe in there, it just lightens that color up and makes it look very Coastal Cabana. Oh, I forgot. You know what, when I made the video today, you guys, I forgot this part too. I put a little doily in there, colored doilies. Have you guys seen these? They're so cute. We've got Clipso Coral, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, and what's that one? Grapefruit Grove. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of that one off just like we did before. And I'm gonna use a glue dot. Thanks, Debbie. I'm sorry for the interruptions. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna have to tell the kids that they're gonna have to turn off Fortnite when I play. I didn't think about that. But that keeps them quiet. <laughs> Okay, there we go. See, I just stuck it right under there. Clip that on. And did I tie a bow yet? Yep, here it is. I was thinking I already did that. And then glue dots. I'm just going to stick that on with a glue dot. And we're done with this one. Remember, it doesn't have to be a get well gift. It could be birthday. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy spring. Whatever. Because I think that this little flowery look would go that you know would 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 do that as well all right oh no let's fix that oh it doesn't even have a glue dot on it i didn't get the glue dot so what do you guys think are you brave enough to get a spritzer and spritz your lustrous white mini gable boxes i have a feeling i'm not going to be able to use them white i think they're going to always have to be spritzed whatever color i'm using all right project number two is done you guys ready for number three? You know what, before I move to three here, I'll show you the other project that I made. This was actually the project I was gonna do for Facebook Friday, but then I switched over to that whole Coastal Cabana theme and I was moved this one to the side. But this has that tea room paper right here. Beautiful, and it's got this embossing folder, which we're gonna use next, the tufted, tufted embossing folder. And there's the flower just on the edge. So that's another idea. Alrighty, so let me, Get my last tray. The last one, we're gonna do some embossing, some dry embossing with a new tufted, tufted, I can never say it right, tufted embossing folder, which is quite magical if you ask me. Look at it, isn't that beautiful? That gold, gold embossed um, foil is always pretty. All right, so let's start out with the stamping, and yes, I'm using Gorgeous Grape again. I took a break from Gorgeous Grape last week, but I'm back. I can't stop, I can't stop using it, you guys. Gorgeous Grape is gorgeous. All right, now we're gonna do some fussy cutting, okay? Now we need to clean this with our chamois. Make sure it's clean, yep. And let's get our Gorgeous Grape. Now we're gonna stamp this first here and here. We're gonna do it half half strength like we did last time where we stamp off. And then we're going to use this. Um, we're gonna cut this out. Kathy, yes, the spritzers are in the catalog. You know what, I'm glad you asked me that because I did wanna point those out. The spritzers that I used on the last project are in the catalog, I'm certain. Of course, I should have marked that. Let's see, does anybody know the number? Oh no, it's gonna be right here. Spritzers, where are they? Am I just looking at them? Right here, yeah, I was looking at them, right here. Stampin' Spritzers, page 203. Page 203, that was a good question because I did want to point those out. Those are one of those things that you could not see. All right, half strength, okay? Gorgeous grape, stamp off. Stamp one right here. Gorgeous grape, stamp off. And then stamp another one up here. Now, we're gonna stamp on a separate piece of paper, this gorgeous grape, in full strength. We're gonna cut this one out, okay? So, we're gonna move that to the side. We're gonna come back to original piece, and we're gonna get that baby's breath again. Make sure, yeah, I did it, Coastal Cabana. 
right like that. Just a few sprigs in there. One down here on the corner, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side for a minute. I'm gonna bring this piece back that we're gonna do the fussy cutting. And I've got the leaves. Yep, I need to clean it. I couldn't remember what color I did it. Lemon Lime Twist. So let's clean it, get the lemon lime off, because we're gonna stamp them in Coastal Cabana this time. There's one and two. All right, now it's time to fussy cut. Raise your hand if you hate fussy cutting. And I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't hate it because it's really relaxing. Now, how many of you love to fussy cut? I know that's always like a mixed bag. I really kind of like fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is when you, there's a stamped image that doesn't have a framelit or a punch and you're forced to go old school and use scissors. And I recommend that you use the smallest, sharpest pair of scissors that you have and cut around the outside. Don't try to stay even with the edge of the image. That's when it starts looking all wonky, when you make a mistake or your, your cuts aren't smooth. When I taught kindergarten, I would tell the kids to cut a cloud around the image. So you're leaving a cloud edge around that image. And that way your eye will only see the stamp, the stamped edge. It's not gonna see that white edge there. See, like that. If my kindergarten kids could do it, you guys can do it too. Another tip is to always cut off the excess cardstock. It's hard to cut when you've got a bunch of bulky cardstock. And my third tip is to turn the paper and not your scissors. See how I am going around and turning the paper. All right, so we're gonna cut out the leaves twice and the flower once. That way we can pop them up and have some dimension. Oh, you know what, Debbie? I kind of was the same way with this set. It did not jump out at me. It was not something that I was like, oh, I have to have that immediately. But I saw a lot of people talking about this set and how much they loved it. And so I got it and I am so glad that I did. Not only are the images beautiful, but the fonts and the sentiments are great. Um, we don't wanna have to make cards like this, you know, for when someone is hurt or sick. But when you need one, you need one, right? All right, I'm bringing this piece back over. This was the original piece. Let's get rid of this because that's ugly. I don't like seeing that. And dimensionals have run away. Nope, here they are, I haven't used them yet. They were waiting, they were like, you're neglecting us. You usually use this on every project. Okay, so do this, this flower here like that. And then we're gonna do the leaves with dimensionals, but we're gonna slide them behind like that. See how it's coming off that white piece? It's sticking off like that. Beautiful. All right, so now we're ready to put the card together, but we need to emboss that gold piece. Here's the gold foil. I always have somebody say, where do you get the, the foil? Well, it's in our catalog. It's on the page there with all the paper. And the item number is on that PDF on my blog. Um, okay, we're embossing. Here's the embossing piece right here, the tufted. We want the raised image to be on the top of the gold. So that means the side you want raised, you need to put face down into the depressed side. Kind of confusing, but look for the logo, the Stampin' Up! logo, and make sure that the front side of your cardstock is facing that side. Because here where it's puffed out, that's gonna push that paper into the recessed edge, or the recessed side, to make your paper puff out on that side. The first time I did it, I wasn't paying attention and I did it backwards. So don't be like me. Think about what you're doing when you're doing it. Put that paper on the right side of your embossing folder. This is one of our thick embossing folders, the dynamic embossing folders, so they're really thick. So you use your Big Shot platform and only one plate. That's the sandwich that you make. Run it through and Look at it, beautiful, fancy. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. 
it's gonna fall. Stay there. All right, so now we've got all of that. Let's put it together. My card front is Gorgeous Grape, and we're gonna use this, um, we're gonna use dimensionals, of course. Actually, did I use dimensionals? I guess it doesn't matter. You know what, let's do it flat, because we already did some popping up. So let's do flat, like this, right here. Now let's do dimensionals. Let's do one in each corner. This embossing folder is very cool, Ellen. I totally agree. It's um, very unique. It's, uh, it's gonna get a lot of use, I can tell you, in my craft room. All right, right there in the middle. Now I'm gonna do kind of a double thing here with the twine and the ribbon. All right, so I don't know if you guys noticed what I did there. I'm gonna take the twine, this is the Whisper White twine, and just wrap it around my fingers three or four times. Snip it like that, and then pinch it in the middle so you have a figure eight. You can actually kind of twist it like that. All right, now I'm gonna get my glue dots. If you are a Tombow liquid glue fan, this would be a great time to use your Tombow, but that takes time to dry, so I'm just gonna use some glue dots couple of glue dots there and I'm gonna push this down into those glue dots like that. Then I'm gonna get, this is the another one of the mini striped ribbon. These ribbons are my favorite in the catalog, hands down. Mini striped ribbon, three colors, Gorgeous Grape, Bermuda Bay, and Poppy Parade. They're my favorite. They are thinner than the striped ribbon that was in the Occasions catalog, in case you were wondering. They are a little bit narrower is the word I should use, narrower. All right, glue dot, and I'm gonna put that right in the middle and then kind of spread those little twine pieces down and up. There we go, fancy, but we're not done. We need something on the inside. I felt like this card was too dark to just leave blank. So let's take our flower and where's my piece of grid paper? and just stamp that flower kind of in the corner, there, and there, and I'm using a different sentiment this time. This is the get well soon, and just stamp that right in the middle. Just fancy it up a little bit more. All right, you guys, that's it. A fancy card to send to somebody who needs a little pick-me-up. What do you think? Do you guys like the gold with that gorgeous grape? That gold with that tuff tuffeted embossing folder is magic. I love it. All right, so let's look what we made today. Um, the teacher in me has to review what did we do today. We did that card. We did a case from the catalog with the faux stitching and the masking, if you missed it or if the video was super blurry, come back and watch it. When I'm done uploading it, you'll have the clean version. You can also hop over to YouTube. There's gonna be some videos there, same projects. And the gable box. I think my favorite is the gable box. I always love a 3D project. Now you guys remember that if you want these make and takes, you've got to put your order in by Monday night and use this hostess code. Unless your order is over $150, don't use the hostess code. So you get the Stampin' Rewards, but I'll still send you the make and takes. I'll see your order there, don't worry. Um, also the PDF, wherever it went. PDF, who knows where I put it. It was here. Go over to my blog. It's there. It's under the last picture. Click on it. You can save it and print it. It has all the perfect information that you need. Now, while before I say goodbye, let me just scroll a little bit and see if anybody's asking me anything. Oh, Judy, it's in hot and humid Florida. Well, Judy, I'm in hot and humid South Texas. I feel for you, my friend. Perfect. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. You're so encouraging. You make me, you make Facebook Live easy. All right. Well, if you have any specific questions, just email me or message me and I will get back with you. Um, don't forget to share the video. And if you have questions about that starter kit, so you can get these products at 20% 
discount and my classes for very cheap, let me know. Reach out. Let me know. Ask me a question. Um, I'm happy to answer any of it. Next week, there will be no Facebook Friday. I will be traveling um, at the end of the week, so we won't have anything. Um, but the next week, I'll be back, and I already have something planned. So thanks, guys, for joining me, and I will see you in two weeks. Have a great weekend. Bye.